Well, what, how fantastic it is to be here today. Um, Pope Prince, I'm absolutely delighted to be a part of, of today. And the main reason, of course, is uh, you guys are really, um, you're, you're a minority group. You've put your hand up, you, you've said, hey, look at me. You know, you're, you're striving to be the best. Um, and it's those, uh, those uh, attributes, the attitude and the values that you've shown today are really in line with uh, Pope Print. I was so delighted to, to be able to celebrate that success with you, so congratulations to all the finalists. Um, pretty much, we're really happy that we are doing the People's Choice Awards. And the reason being is it's really a reflection of your customers and the public, uh, their perception of, of you as a company. And uh, in, fact, in fact, I really am excited about that particular award because, you know, the other awards are very important as well, but of course, you know, that's, that's judged by people who are, you know, are, are scrutinising you and, and looking at the intricacies of your environmental policies or something, whereas you've actually got the opportunity to, to get your, your customers, your family and friends uh, to actually say that you're the best. Uh, so it's really exciting. And uh, what I want to do is uh, just share a few things with you about this particular award. First of all, how to vote and also how you can uh, use this as a marketing tool for yourself to get out and campaign and, and get as many votes as possible. And then, um, yeah, enter your details like that. In the next slide, um, you get to choose who is your favourite company. Now, you're, you're looking there and thinking, Pope Print, but we're sponsoring in this particular category. Well, as you've seen, we're also finest as well, so that's really exciting. But I really need your help. <laughs> I really need your help because it's so embarrassing going up on stage and saying the winner is, oh it's me. So you guys have got to do absolutely everything you can to get votes and to win. Um, and I'll both love you and hate you if you do. So go to the next slide. Methods of, of winning votes. If we go to the next slide we'll see just a, a brief example of what you can do with your emails. You can have a, put in your signature, just something simple, you know, use your own words want to win some prizes? Well, the great thing about this is that whoever votes actually has the opportunity to win some prizes themselves. So it's good to, to sort of capture that, I guess. And the next slide just shows a brief example of uh, what you can say. <laughs> I, I need a big favour from you. We have entered the 2011 Hospitality Tourism Awards and we need your vote to help us on the People's Choice Awards. Winning this award means the adorable fluffy kittens are found to sat near the freezing cold river will be kept warm and fed. Uh, you can win awesome prizes too by voting, so click on the link below. Two easy steps. Thanks for voting. Two to lose. So there's two real simple ways you could, you, could, you could do it. There's also social media. And on the next slide, uh, we have this is my Facebook page. And um, what you do is you copy the link and you paste it in your wall. Now just diverting a little bit, you notice uh, the bottom left hand corner of Friends 199. I hope like hell that someone here will be my 200th friend. <laughs> In fact, there's morning tea in it for you. <laughs> and if you're really hot, maybe dinner. $650 package, so wouldn't it be great for your clients to have the opportunity, because of you, you're giving them the opportunity to Win. So really, you need to think outside the square. How can you promote your business? How can you get people to vote? So there, there, the next slide just gives one possible, uh, possible way. Uh, the next slide, uh, Rangitata Ralph's experience. Actually, I'm not too sure if it's for one person or two pe people. Are they here? Does anyone know? Um, if you're part of a community group, if you're part of a, a religious organisation, uh, you've got to think. You've got to think, how can you mark yourself? Uh, maybe the next slide gives you a bit of a rough idea. <laughs> Go to the top, I say. Go to the top. Now, look, I, I have to have a disclaimer. We, we have no affiliation with the Pope. I'm not too sure if any of us are Catholic. But of course, we want to own the Tomorrow Airport. And the third prize. <laughs> the third prize, jewellery. $200. Well, what woman wouldn't want some jewellery? I sense why I'm actually. Um, so I probably don't have to be a woman, um, but what, 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 what a great prize that is. Um, and um, I've uh, totally forgotten um, what, the, what the next slide is. Oh, that's right. Cheating. <laughs> this, 
picture is only for illustrative purposes <laughs> of me bribing. But actually, this is another transaction that I'm forbidden to talk about. You can see Wendy there is quite shocked because there's actually a $50 note involved, but we, we won't go there. You're a sweetie, Wendy, honestly. Uh, the next slide, please. Oh yeah, why bother? This, honestly, this is a real fantastic opportunity for you to build relationships with your customers, to, to market. Uh, you're asking for their help, you're going to strengthen it. Uh, it means you're going to get fame and glory if you do win. And, um, and of course, basically, it gives you that, that ultimate credibility factor. Let's face it, if your clients and, and the public are saying you're the best, then other potential clients, well, what are they going to think? They're going to think, well, you know, if your existing clients think you're the best, well, maybe you are too. The ultimate way that you can keep your get folks. Uh, the, 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 if, if you're really serious about being aggressive, you're serious about um, being the best, um, striving to be the best, not not second best, because second or not good enough, I should say, good enough seldom is. If you're going to outsmart, outthink, outperform your competitors, there's only really one option for you in the next slide. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> okay. Um, and the next slide is, ah oh yes, so that concludes the, the awards side of things. Thank you very much. Um, as you know, uh, the last couple of years there's been some on-screen animation and video production. Well this year we're doing the video production. I've done the animation for the last couple of years, so we're doing the whole this year. So if you can see me, um, if you don't have a video production already, or see Jeremy, uh, you all know who Jeremy is over there. Um, because we need to coordinate over the next couple of weeks for me to come out and uh, make you a brief video production. And I think there's one more. No, that's it. Great. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a good part of the evening. Thank you, William. Um, I've been brought in to do the closing to make a clean sweep in case William said or showed anything inappropriate. And I have to make some apologies on behalf of our IT development or the chamber. But he's done quite well. And uh, I have to say that he wouldn't give me the money after having posed for the, those images. So I was deeply disappointed. And I apologise, Mayor Janie, because I haven't got those funds now to help develop the district. <laughs> However, I, what I would like to say t today as we close is to play a special tribute to all of the businesses that entered the awards this year. Um, a quick read through the Timur and Herald, which we all have received. A fantastic tabloid, I have to say, from the Herald, um, demonstrates the diverse range of tourism experiences and products that South Canterbury has on offer. This is a wonderful marketing um, opportunity for all of those businesses, and we've certainly got quite a few hundred spare, thanks to the generosity of the Timur and Herald, to be able to use to continue to promote the district. I want to say a, a huge thank you to the hard-working and innovative individuals that have driven and continue to drive these enterprises. Thank you, because you are the strength of the South Canterbury economy.